Hey YouTube, it's Craig here, and I'm back with a new video. This one is going to be a comparison video between the Kaveco Skyline Sport, which is an entry-level pocket fountain pen, and the Kaveco Aluminum Sport, which has a 14 karat gold uh, Bach nib on it. So let's check it out and let's see, uh, is it worth it to upgrade? Let's find out. Real quick before I get into the comparison, I want to talk about some of the accessories I picked up recently. Blanc single pen sleeve I picked up for my uh, Meister Stuck 146 that I got. So this one is made in Germany, smooth leather, just a single pen case. And this is the uh, Snap Closure 2 pen case, made in Italy. And it fits uh, really any of my pens pretty comfortably. I also picked up one of these. This is their um, the Mont Blanc notebooks. Leather bound notebooks made in Italy as well. And lastly, I picked up some ink. Uh, I have the Jeobon. <laughs> I'm really not going to try to really pronounce that. Um, and uh, the Mont Blanc Around the World in 80 Days Blue. This is my probably my favorite ink of all time. I also picked up just some uh, cartridges for these Kaveco pens. So I have um, Carandash, uh, Idyllic Blue, Diamine, 1864 Blue Black. Just some new ink. And my last accessory that I got is this Franklin Kristoff 7 pen roll. Um, it's made out of the uh, Ashen waxed canvas. And it's a 7 pen roll and I only have 5 fountain pens, so we'll see how soon I fill this up. But uh, yeah, this is great. So I have my Autohoot Design 8, my Mont Blanc uh, 146, Meister Stuck 146, my Lamy 2000, and then I have my two Kavecos. But this whole video is about these Kavecos. So let's get right into it, shall we? Here is a Kaveco Skyline Sport, but this came from Nomos Glasuta, uh, part of the pencil case, the Skyline Sport. If I take off the clip here, this is how it came. And it's just injection molded plastic. You can see it has all these little marks on it. Not marks, but just like part of the molds. On the back of the barrel, it says made in Germany. And this pen is between $25, $30. Um, I think Nomos sells it for about $35, $40 on their site with the branding. And these pens are made to be posted and this has a medium steel nib on it. Plastic feed with the Kabego branding on it. And pretty simple, it just has a cartridge in it. This is the Carandash Idyllic Blue. And that is the Skyline Sport. The difference between a Sport and a Skyline Sport is the fact that it has the chrome accents so it has the the Kaveco branding on the finial and the nib is steel. They didn't plate it in gold or anything like that. So with that, picked up a cheap little $2 clip. And there you have it. Next we have the Kaveco AL Sport. So this is the aluminum pen. Um, it's not that much heavier than the plastic version but you can just see it doesn't have those lines like the other one does. You just see the difference in the quality. It's so much more refined. I decided to get a um, the retro looking clip for this one. So Kaveco, since 1883, Germany. Even the top of the finial, you can just tell, a little more refined. And this one came with a steel fine nib, but I upgraded it to a 14 karat gold nib. These are made by Bach. And the difference is astounding. So we'll get right into that writing sample. Interior of this one also just has a cartridge in it. And this is the, well, there's no branding on this one, but this is the Diamine 
1864 blue black. So those are the two pens. I got this one from jetpens.com. Let's get right into a writing sample, shall we? I recommend maybe cleaning it even before you start using it. Just kind of run it under some water and kind of flush it out a little bit. Um, but this is the Gaveco Skyline Sport with a medium. I was right in there. Steel. And this is Karandash Idyllic Blue. It's uh, not, you know, the same with this ink, it's not the wettest ink, it dries pretty quickly. Um, but I get really good flow, some line variation. But it is a little more scratchy on the paper. Um, reverse writing is almost non-existent. Oh no, I take that back. Maybe I'm thinking about the gold nib. I know we'll do a Quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Yeah, it's a it's a good steel nib. It's a little toothy. You can you can definitely feel it on the paper. This is just the Rhodia dot pad, um, but it's definitely got some toothiness to it. But it writes really well. I mean, it it it's writing way better now than it used to. Now we have the AL Sport. The other thing to kind of notice with this is the plastic pen is longer when it's posted. This ink dries really, really quickly. Um, but this is the Caveco AL Sport. So I had a little bit of a skip there. I don't know if it was just how I was holding it. Um, and it is a medium. Fourteen carat gold nib. And the ink is Diamine 1864 Blue Black. This gold nib feels a little stiffer, if anything, than the, the steel. Again, you get some, some line variation. It's just not quite as flexy as the steel nib is. The reverse writing on this is non-existent. Really non-existent, but that's okay. That's not what I got it for. Um, the quick brown fox. Lazy dog. It is classy smooth. 
and actually right out of the box and right after, you know, it was one of those things. I had to clean it out first. Um, I wasn't really getting the best results with it. I have no railroading, no skipping. Um, like I said, this ink dries really, really quickly. So it's not super juicy or anything like that, but you can see like almost nothing as far as the, uh, there's no smearing there. Is it worth it for what I'm collecting? Yes, it is def definitely worth it. Um, I think it's a nice upgrade, a really nice upgrade. I mean, this is, I could buy three of these pens essentially for the price of this one, just with this nib, but it's a really, it really makes a big difference. From the writing sample, you can kind of see like, they look very similar. For what I'm collecting this these pens for, Yes, this is a, a fine upgrade. Is it for everyone? No, absolutely not. You could definitely just get a Kaveco Sport with the steel nib and be perfectly fine. I'm happy I have this because this is the one I'm probably going to be carrying with me all the time everywhere because who cares? Who cares what happens to it? It's, it's a cheap, good writing pen. And this one is a very nice pen now, all of a sudden. It went from being something very utilitarian, something you could just carry around with you to like, oh, well, you kind of have to be a little more careful because of that nib. Um, not that it's like super extra value, but um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, now a pricey thing. So do I think it's worth it? Yes. Do I think it's worth the upgrade? Yes. Other people out there would probably go, hey, I'd rather spend that kind of money and get a... Lamy 2000 or a um, Lamy Dialogue or, you know, even getting into um, a Pilot Custom. This suits me really nicely and I think it was a nice upgrade. And that's the video. What did you guys think? Is it worth it? I think it's all up to preference. Uh, for me personally, collecting German-made fountain pens with gold nibs, um, it was kind of a must for me to upgrade this pen. Uh, but nonetheless, the Skyline Sport still has a place in my collection. I feel a little bit safer about taking it out places, especially with its uh, low price tag. And of course, I get to you know show off the Nomos Glass Suits of branding on there. Um, that is my favorite watch brand. So let me know what you guys think. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, Feel free to message me on Instagram at Craig Rocanova or on here. I'll do my best to get back to your messages. If you want to see more content like this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Peace.